All right, Maggie, it is great to be with you. And you and I know everyday equations are a way we talk about bringing our culture to life every day. I think one of the most important equations for our community and for the broader world, and frankly, an equation that isn't implemented as holistically as it should be is real-time direct feedback is greater than overly polite commentary. And as we get to know you, Maggie, I'm really curious, how do you think about implementing that equation every day? So the first thing to note, Dan, is that I actually have to think about it. This is not an everyday equation that comes naturally to me, and I've had a lot of growth in this space over the last few years. But ultimately, what helps me practice this is that I just think about the goal, and it's really to help each other be the best version of ourselves. It's about growth, and it's about improvement. It's not about scary, formal performance conversations. It's about growing and delivering our best together, and that kind of dials down the intensity for me. Maggie, one of the things I'm super curious about to get your take on is why is this so hard to implement in practice? It would seem that people agree conceptually, everyone wants to develop, and as a result, giving people actionable feedback to develop would seem to be natural, and yet it breaks down somewhere psychologically. Yeah. Why do you think that is? So short answer is I don't know, but I have a couple thoughts. One is that I think most of us have probably been on the receiving end of feedback that did not feel good to get. And we don't want to be on the subscribing end of that, right? But I think the other piece about it is we can be, sometimes we worry that building relationships happens through polite interactions and compliments. And when in reality, it really they're really built through the hard moments and where we're in it together and focusing on growth and not the personal side of, of our business. 